Hello everyone, welcome to another video for Philips Take On DDS CAD. The subject today is KNX Circuit Layout. And in the demonstration today, I will show you how to individualize the KNX design in order to meet situational requirements. Before viewing the video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell, and don't lose the next videos. Enjoy! As you can see, I'm working on the electrical schematic automation model and I have previously defined a multi-man diagram. As seen on the screen, I already have a supply and pre-fuse circuits. In the distribution board now, I will insert a switch actuator KNX for eight channels. So this is the select one. The switch actuator can be found from the KNX bus bar category. I will select the main load as 10 ampere and the diversity factor 30%. I click OK, click OK for the component and also for the KNX switch actuator. And eight times I click OK till it fills the circuit list and then click close. If I click OK, we can see the switch actuator on the screen. Okay. So, the current result is that we have 8 channels with individual fuses and cables. What I want to achieve as an end result is to group the channels ABC, DEF and GH. So, I will have 3 groups and for each group, 1 fuse and cable. So, let's do it. First of all, in the column D2 slash uh, 3, I will double click the F4 and F5. The same for F7, F8 and F10. As a result, we make this grouping. Next, let's remove these fuses. Come back to the distribution board and I will select the column device and right mouse click and select the option delete component. Okay, next, let's remove the component 2, E3, E4, E7, E6, E7, and E9. Right mouse click and delete component. Okay, now we see this gap here. Now we will remove the terminals. So, we can select everything, right mouse click and click edit. And we can deactivate the terminal's active checkbox. Now, click OK and this is the result. They're removed. Okay, next step. Next step, we will remove the cables of these channels. So, press and hold Ctrl. Select all of them, right mouse click and edit. And we will deactivate the use cable checkbox. Okay. Next step. We will change the number of cores of the re remaining cables. Select them, edit and change the parameter cores from 3 to 5. Okay, next step, we, will, we are now going to change the wiring symbol. To do so, in the distribution board, we select the component 2, double click it, go to the button change, and instead of the first wiring symbol output 1 of 3 leads, I will select output 3 of 5 leads uh, and uh, this uh, option and two next two channels. So this is what we have for the grouping ABC. For, so ABC and the same for DEF. So double click here, change and three outputs, five leads and to the next channels. 
F5 to refresh and this is the result. For the last one, as we only have one next channel, I will select the E8, change, and I will select the two outputs instead of three and N to next channel. F5 to refresh and voila, this is the end result. I'm back, it's another day, another shirt, because Zordon asked me to show you a nice feature. Like, I could select the complete circuit layout, the new circuit layout, and copy this to the same board or to another board, simply by copy pastes. Nice, isn't it? Do you like this subject and want to know more about DDS-CAD? Put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!